Hi, it's Jeff Jarmers here from discoverdoublebass.com, which is the home of online learning for double bass players, where you can go to check out our lessons, courses, and our interviews. And this is a very special interview. It gives me enormous pleasure to welcome somebody who has literally changed the way that people play the double bass in a really profound way. They are known as a soloist, as a composer, as an educator. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Francois Rabath. Welcome, sir. It's fantastic to have you here today. Me too. Me too. Well, happy birthday. We are celebrating your 90th birthday this year, and I saw you at the ISB convention, but shortly in March, we'll be celebrating your 91st birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday, and what is the secret to your uh, good health and still being so nimble and fluid on the double bass? But I think, I think it's, it's my bass take me young. Yeah? Because, yes, because uh, every day I must play it and work on it and, and uh, train my body. Yeah. So it keep me young. I think so. The bass is the magic, isn't yes. it? Yes. So every day you uh, wake up and you play the bass, what might you play on a, on a typical day if you get to spend time with your instrument? I play scales, but the scales not anymore. Mm. Scales. We must change the word of the scales. We must say music. When uh, I play at the beginning, when, when I, I was young, I was playing like a zombie. I don't play the scales like a music. When you would play Bach, it's scales and arpeggio, for example. <laughs> What it's di da 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 scales di da di do arpeggio. When we play Bach, we play it with musicality. When we play scales, the, uh, 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 like some, you, we waste our time. Yes. So I demonstrate just when I wake up, yeah. I play the scales. you this part, this part, and this part, and all of this. That's mean uh, it's, it's not any more scales. We waste our time, we waste years and our life uh, without profound interest. We are playing notes, not we are, don't play music, we are playing the notes. When did that change for you? Because you, you started famously with the nanny book. And then you came to Paris and, yes. you know, maybe if you could just explore that, that time and how you, you know, were developing your own techniques and approaches. Sure. When, when I was young, they bring the, me the bass. And when I discovered the bass, I was, uh, they put me in the orchestra. 
and I was just putting the pay, because, and when I discovered the Nanny's method, I was playing. He changed. Yeah. He changed. And I was playing always the C out of tune. Because of the shift from the B to the yes. C? Yes. Because I was beginner. Yes. And nobody can help me. And I say, how I can resolve this problem? So I shift, but I don't shift anymore. I just make a pivot in my thumb, the pivot. It's, it's become a three note, not two anymore. Okay. In doing that, the thumb stay where you are and you travel, uh, you shift, you, uh, you go around your thumb, but yes. you don't move it. Can we see it on the back of the neck? Yes, like this. Yeah. And away, it gives you three notes, not two anymore. Well, so I didn't know that at the beginning. Yes. After I found out that I am playing three notes, not two anymore, and with in pitch. And that's, I create, in a way, the pivot before that I knew how to play the bass. So was this back in Syria or were you in Paris in at Syria. this time? Wow. No, 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 in so, Syria. So you don't have the inspiration to, of uh, more experienced players to kind of... No, 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 don't have just... any. When, when they bring me from Damascus, my brother was yes. a musician, bring me the bass. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, when I see, he was playing violin. When he brings the bass from Damascus to Aleppo, I was in Aleppo, and he said to me, go to the, uh, and bring me a handkerchief from my room. But he put the bass. I came and I see this big violin. I never thought that it can exist. I go to him and say, uh, this violin is for who? I say, but it's not a violin, it's a double bass. I say, it's for, <coughs> for who? They don't say it's for you. He said to me, if you like to play it, I will give it to you. Oh, it was my God. I, he, he, don't, uh, he, he was clever to don't say, you must play that. He let me choose. Uh, I, she chose me, I think. Yeah. Because when I, I see her and I do this, oh my God, it, I never heard this kind of, of sound. So it's that, it's, uh, but when, I, be, I found the, 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 the method and I begin to say how I can teach myself. I begin to see the, this note be, be, belong to this finger and that's it. I didn't know the note and I begin to play before that I knew the name of the note. Okay. It, that means uh, it was direct. <laughs> and when I put, put in my hand, I say how, how I can uh, like my mother when she was singing, how I can vibrate. So, uh, and uh, I do this. Oh, when I was baby, I was doing this. When we do, I do that, uh, that's it. Everything's come naturally. Yeah. And now I begin to see that the pivot uh, uh, conduct the finger, not the finger conduct the pivot. Be okay. careful. The hand here must always caress the string. Mm. They are they, she's not like that because like that, it's uh, 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 an extension. Exten yeah. Yes. No. 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 Like that. So Watch. That. It's the pivot yes. here. Small. Yeah. Bigger. And that's it. Yeah. But uh, it gives me three notes. Imagine. A three note, it's become, uh, it's become uh, less you shift more, you can go quick. You say, uh, because, uh, you know, when you shift, you have to stop. Yes. It stops. When I go, yeah. I shift two times. One time. Yeah. Because I, I, don't, I shift one time. It gives me the velocity in, in, with the pitch. So I become like a cello, three notes, not two anymore. And that is very important.
Do you remember playing uh, for people when you were later in, in Paris and you were performing and people seeing the shift and their reaction, maybe from more traditional players who, oh, sorry, the pivots, uh, the people yeah. seeing you play? And do you remember people being excited and asking you uh, what you were doing? No, uh, no, they are afraid. They was afraid because uh, uh, they, they say uh, it's, too, uh, it's too complicated. Uh, it, you can be lost if you do that. How you can be lost if you learn? Yeah. And later, when I was young, later, uh, my son, that who is played the piano, yes. was, uh, he was playing a small quarter of cello. And I was, took him, he was one year, two, one, year, two, one years or two years or something. He was waking up, he don't know how to speak. He was waking up, and he took me to the chill and I, he was playing and I put his hand here yeah. because he was doing that with the bow. Uh, 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 uh. He, he, like, he liked to put his hand here. I say, why we don't begin like that? Yeah. Because this position is the hardest one. Yes. And this, uh, watch, it's not normal. That is normal. Yes, the body is more at rest. As yes. And Watch. You so, have four, five, four nights. Here. It's harder work. So, I begin, I, I begin one, uh, the son of Chung, I be, he was 16 years old, and the master, his father, asked me to, to, to teach him. I, I, I begin him like this. Believe me or not, one year after he was playing the, uh, the prelude of the first week. Wow. Yes, one year. Beautiful. Because, watch. It's here. Here to do that. Yeah. Well, in a way, I say, why we don't begin the kids like that? So George Vance, he is beginning here. Uh, yeah. And I say, begin that here, it's more easy. Because more it's high, more it's easy to catch the sound with the bow. This, it's very... Yeah. It's easy because it's shorter, that thing. In a way, but we must, I must, I was playing stand up. I was playing with the MP straight. Here, when I put the bass here, I was playing like this, and my it's heavy, heavy. So I, it's it's impossible to. So it, it took me time to understand how, because when you play like this, you the weight it's okay, but here yes. you don't have any more. You must use your muscles. How we can? I begin to think. It's everything, it's physical, physical law. Yeah. Not just you, your body, physical body, physical law. The phys physical law, you must know that for each note, for each note here, have his place between the end of the fingerboard to the bridge. Yes. You cannot do another way. And that is physical law. So uh, the traditional teaching they give you the things, and you you just uh, you just learn, and you are playing, trying by hazard. Sometimes everything goes perfectly, the sound goes well, and and after a while it destroys. But you don't. We don't explain mm. to the kids that A is four forty by A the A the everything it's it's physical, so. When I play here, it's impossible. Mm. When I play here, it's easy. So uh, uh, demonstration. Yeah. I when I play when I demonstrate for the master class, I say I don't want to change the bow and I change my hand. And when I I begin. <laughs> When I begin it, when I go, it's become everything. This 
It's physical law. Yeah. We ignore that and we say to the kids, do the triad. I say, you're going to, you're, you're going to try all your life? No. I explain to you, we must know the way how to, to solve everything that it's, to explain to him. Yeah. And the kids are not stupid. Uh, many people think that uh, we are uh, kids, we must not explain to him. No, no, no. From the beginning, and, and th this kind of thing, it's, it's important. So, to hold the base correctly, what I mm. do in the new method, yeah. I uh, do the MP, the uh, MP, MP, do you say it? MP? The ang angled MP. MP, MP. Oh, yeah. 45 degrees. Yes. To change the angle. So, the, there's so much I want to ask you. Um, on the end pin, do you remember the first time that you did that? Was that by yes, bending with yes, horse? Yes, yes. I was having this pace. She is light. I was playing, but I was always having heavy. And one day, Gruner, yes, Gruner Great. came and he wanted to make the the same model, the same, to, to copy it. And he ordered this hundred. Different, uh, but uh, very, very fine. Very, very, no, no, very thick and heavy. Oh. Mm. I took his base. He was in the, my home. I took his base. I do that. I go, oh. I say, it's heavy. You cannot have, you, uh, this one is very thin. You cannot change them. He said, I order hundreds. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I say, how we can do that? As we can change the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the angle. The uh, long de gravité. Oh yeah. He said yes. Give me your MP. He got to the balcony and he do this. I swear. Yeah. He put it in my and uh, it become light. Watch, watch. I adapted immediately. But it was the bent MP. It was in in steel, yes. but bent MP. After a while, with Paul Ellison and he is, uh, we are trying to have the the best one. And one day, uh, I, I, I found out uh, we was trying. He took the MP away yes. completely. I was putting in my foot the bass, and I was playing. The sound goes very. Uh, mm. I say, why we don't put a, uh, directly in the bottom of the? Uh, we draw it again, and he said, but we destroyed the bass. I said, no, all the Pullman have two. Yeah. One and one. Yeah, they do, don't they? About we. Yeah. Uh, why? So uh, I, I draw my base yes. and I make two different. Wow. In this way, in, in, in this way, you uh, uh, the angle of the base. Watch the angle. It's important because I never use muscles. Watch. That's it. My use the ha the weight of my the weight of my arms. But if you are like this. You can use the weight. You must use the muscles. Put the bow to here. I I just put it up. Yeah, that, that it's the best way to hear the, even the bow alone. Do you remember the first time that you drilled the bass with it? Was with, with Christian Labory? Was it Christian uh, Labory? Was um was it this instrument or was it a cheap instrument or? I don't know, no, 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 no. It was the first time it was with, good with bass? his instrument. Oh yeah, we tried and I, uh, anyhow I was decided to do yeah. that, and now I discover that uh, I uh, in America they have the same one. It goes, but you can ad adjust it. Yes, the, the you just adjusted. It's become encore uh, yeah. more. Uh, yeah. More. The, so there are all these wonderful players in the jazz world. People, uh, Rufus Reed, uh, John Clayton, uh, who have adap adapted. And of course, the great Paul Ellison uh, oh, in the yes. you know in the classical world. And is, is it has it been a real joy to see all of these bases being move, moved up and adapted in your in your you know? yeah because it's it's uh, the, the, he doubled the sound. Because you don't have any steel inside, yes. you ring like that. It's it's in, in, in it's very light, or in wood, or in this kind. And the angle of the base. When you are doing, uh, uh, when you are like this, you try the bass. Watch, everything is wrong. When you are like this, you can you can play anyway. Anyhow, but uh, I like to have it. 
to took all the 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 hard things away to have the maximum that you can yes. do. So when I am doing this kind of boying the <laughs> How I can do that like that? How I can do that? So uh, you are doing with your muscles, it become work. It will not become natural. Now, watch. <laughs> You have you have the possibility because all uh, when you uh, you have the weight here and here the same the same weight the same weight here that's good you must push on it mm. and uh, uh, more more you took uh, all the things. Uh, not uh, not necessary away. Yes. More you begin to 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 use another way to play your muscles. Took it away. Your weight perfect. Uh, here, for example, uh, for, uh, uh, when I use here the, the 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 the, but if I use it here also the pivot. It, it pivot. It, 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 uh, the thumb, yeah. With them. Ah, yeah. Why we don't use it here? And uh, Tortelier, at the beginning of uh, when he was saying, I am doing it. He used thumb and the next day, we was with Michel Legrand. We was, uh, uh, next day he is doing it. I say, you are doing it. He said, don't show me anything. <laughs> he was clever. He adapted immediately this. And the thumb on the, the thing. That's mean. Uh, they all, all what I discover in my life, I put it to let it easy, to help the other best player to play. Uh, for for me, you don't have anyone without talent. It don't exist. You can be virtuoso in any age. You must know how to do it. So we had a question from uh, one of our audience members, and they they asked me. Um, is the Rabat technique for beginners as well? Is it for everybody? And it sounds sure. like it is. Sure. So straight away you're starting up in sixth position. And I love, maybe you could speak a little bit about the positions because it's so much yes. clearer. I love the way yes, that you I begin. I begin simple. to took all the 13, 14 position away. Yeah. Yes. Because for me it was too much uh, things to do. Mm. So this is the first position. The second position, I put my hand at the curve. Yes. D. Yes. And you cannot miss it. You have it. Yeah, yeah. Now, put your thumb on the curve also like this. That's mean one, two. So it's the neck heel. So we can really see that this is one, and then two, and then one. Yeah. yeah. All the way up to C. With the with the with the pivot. And yes. Yeah. This is the second one. Yeah. But many many beginner he don't they don't know how to have the D. Yes. So yeah. you cannot miss it. Mm. This first, second, third, third. four position. <laughs> Five. Yeah. So. And away, in sixth position, you have all the fingerboard. But when yeah. you begin ad advance, I mix the two position, the, the, this. I mix it with this. Yes. That's mean one position here, mix it. Th and now, by extending, yes, by opening. Without changing here, but here yeah. you have two octava. Uh. 
Wow. It's Without a... changing position. Yeah. This is absolutely wonderful. And with the positioning, with, a, with thinking of the positions this way, did you start to play in this fashion and then think as you were teaching and sharing with the world about the positions, did it become more, at what point did you really think, was it for your books or was uh, it the, earlier? When I was, I was giving concert in, in uh, 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 Maison de la Radio. Okay. And the editor, Le Duc editor, edition, the Duke edition was in the hall, and I play. And after we have a conference, because it was radio in public, with after a question, and I, say, and I say, I am writing a new technique to, uh, to because many people discuss how we can play the bass like that uh, 30 years ago. Uh, there, there was astonished that I can make many things, and uh, they'll never see it before. And I say, I am doing the new method. In the intermission, he comes say, I am interested. I say, who you are? He say, Le Duc. And Le Duc for me, Edouard Nani, who was in Le Duc. Oh, really? Yes. It's the same publisher? Okay. Yes, yeah. I say immediately, yes. Yeah. I don't even say, uh, uh, that I deal with him. Yeah. No, no, yes. Yes. Because Le Duc, uh, 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 Nani was in Syria. And you have now published five editions? Six. Six? The six coming, ah. but the six coming, uh, maybe, uh, 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 because he is in, in, in edition in... Uh, with the editor, maybe. With or... the editor, and uh, uh, the editor changed, now he is American. Maybe we will do uh, that with my son. But yes. the, the, the fifth are doing. We, we have them, we, we bring some with oh, us. Fantastic. Uh, uh, and the, the people, uh, when I begin with Le Duc, I was giving concert, and uh, the father of Le Duc, another concert, the father of Le Duc and said to me, uh, uh, come to the concert, and he said to me, because I was planning to begin like this here. <laughs> like this. He said, but nobody, going to accept it. It has to be down here. And... I say, okay. But I was, uh, I was planning for the uh, third volume, not the first one. So I begin to, uh, I begin to explain six position, and I begin here, but with the pivot immediately. And a way that after a while, everyone try the pivot and it fits him. It, it is, the, the, uh, I, I was happy to don't have any professor mm. because I discovered many things. But with this discovering, I wish to, to have me uh, yes. like professor when I was young. <laughs> but I, I waste very, very time to, to try that, to try this and to do that. To do You're that. the scientist oh, in the uh, it, explorer. It, it's, it's, uh, but I was happy when I discovered things. It yeah. was very happy. Uh, to till now I discover I discovered that this small this one the egg if but, if yeah. you tighten it yeah. took the sound away if you don't tighten it oh wow it's amazing yeah it's amazing yeah I saw when you came in I your, yeah your son just adapted uh, to, to, what do I know to yeah why I I cannot explain it but I, yeah. it's happened it's happened because I just have this kind of MP yes uh, what, two months ago. So with the ball at the end. Yes, with yes. the ball, and uh, if not, it ball. It was. Um, it was. Uh, you put it the ball like that. Yes. Here you must. You, you if you took it, you have the things very point yeah. to put it in the floor. You know, uh, by hazard it was. I just say it's impossible. What's happened? <laughs> I, it is. It, you can discover things all your life. It, it that gives me young also. Yes. Because it's uh, it's it's. It's amazing to to know that I can help people and that it was my best discovery mm. that I don't waste my time because to write five six method believe me you cannot you are not paid for that you have a percentage it's, it's nothing uh, when you tell it I spend hours and hours to see how I can bring these kids 
a little by little to don't have my way, heavy way. I wish if he is lucky like me to discover things, yes. why not? But uh, most of them don't have this, uh, this, this chance, but at least, and everybody can be virtuoso anyway, any, any, in any level. You must know how to do it to be. Hmm? Oh, that's really wonderful. So I think we should take a little bit of a break here. We're gonna get some, uh, some water, but maybe you'll come back and join us and we'll maybe keep the conversation going. I've got one or two more questions, but I think it feels like a, a natural point just to stop. And we may even uh, be lucky enough to hear a short performance by the maestro himself, but it gives me enormous pleasure to thank you. It's been a real honor to spend time with you. <laughs> and hopefully we can catch up in just a few moments time and, uh, and keep the conversation going. But I would encourage everybody at home uh, to check out your uh, final volumes, soon to be six, of the uh, Nouvelle uh, Technique de la Contrabasse. So thank you so much, Francois Aubas. Sure.